My neighbors have been sawing for three hours. Resume in the morning while everyone's asleep because I don't know what you're doing over there. We are going to finally get into my pantry today, I promise. I am not excited about it, okay? Hello everyone, I am Sil Sil. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I'm a weekly vlogger that enjoys traveling and today we are tackling the pantry. Those of you that are new to my channel, here's how we do things around here for these organization videos. Step number one, clean it out. Get everything out of there. We're starting with nothing. All of those expired uh, canned goods, all of those cup of soups that have been in there since 1962. Take everything out of there. Step number two, we're going to plan and look at some inspiration. Google the, the size of your area. For me, I would have to Google an L-shaped narrow walk-in pantry. It's just so that you have an idea of what your area could possibly turn into. Step number three, we're going to go ahead and sketch everything out along with take photos of everything. You don't want to buy too many items that don't fit in the space, don't work for your idea that you had for the space. Maybe they don't fit with your items that you need to put into your pantry. So all of that is important. For those of you who don't know or haven't seen at least a photo of it, um, at least the clip of it in one of my vlogs, my pantry has been something I've been working on before I even moved in here because I knew what it looked like before I closed on the house. I wanted it to be very organized, very clean, very minimal in a sense. Here's what I mean by a minimal approach to my pantry. I don't want to see these everywhere. Like, no, I don't want to see these boxes all over the place. Sorry, that was a mini rant. Let's get back into the video. For those of you that enjoy your labels, chalkboard labels, as well as the liquid chalk pen so that I can put the labels on the back of my containers. I do not want to see the labels because I like the look without it, but for those that are visiting, I need the labels. So the labels will be added towards the back of the jars and everything for my friends and family that come to visit and maybe they don't know the salt from the sugar. <laughs> I hope that it's okay with you that I didn't necessarily want to do the traditional pantry video where I show you that I'm pouring this stuff into the containers. I think you know how to do that. I know you know how to do that. I will give you more of a tour of what I keep in my pantry because maybe you're wondering like how can you make it minimal when you need like all sorts of things. So technically this is before I go grocery shopping but really this is it's not far off of what I normally have anyway because I don't keep a lot of stuff and I keep fresh fruits and meats and everything so a lot of my stuff isn't ready in five type of food. So let's go ahead and hit the pantry. So for those of you who don't know, this is the area that I'm constantly vlogging in front of. So let's go ahead and take a tour of my pantry. So I put these waters here, but I mean, realistically, if you move anything, they'll probably tumble. Uh, but it just looks good, so aesthetically pleasing. This is very vlog style, by the way. This is how tall the baskets are. These are also the ones from Dollar General. So I keep cereal, pasta and grains, bags of chips or anything, and then paper products in the last one. And since we're talking about the top, I got this as a gift from work. It just sits up here collecting dust because I've never used it but eventually I will. Second shelf, I have my waffle maker. Some of you have seen me attempt to make a couple of waffles. And in this basket, I have my unused or 
maybe slightly opened sauces. Ta da! Since we're still on the second shelf, these are some of my spices from DeKalb Farmers Market. This is how they they come packaged. I have elbow macaroni in case I make baked macaroni, which is not very often because of a lot of cheese. I'm going to try some chickpea recipes, so that's what's in here. I don't have anything in here because, I mean, I don't. This is a part of buying too many items before you know how much space or how many things you need the items for. I bought too much stuff. Here is my cereal. Special K with red berries. My favorite protein bars. If you know what vlog that was in, or if you remember what vlog, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I will keep my packaged or pre packaged snacks. And here's my lunchbox that I take to work because they threw away my old one. So now I have this, and I don't know if I really like it, but whatever. I have this hurricane water here. This container, I house my quick eats if you will. So I'm going to try this teriyaki Annie Chun's noodle bowl and I don't like peeling potatoes so I at least keep two of them and I only have two now because I realized cleaning out my pantry some of them were old. Here I keep the spices that I use most frequently as you can see I need more pepper but sugar is back here, salt is in the front flour and then more spices and here are the three containers that I love right here nothing is in them yet because I don't have any bag of chips that are open but that's what will go in here after a bag is open you just throw it in here just to keep that whole clean look going you know down below I have my oils that I use so vegetable oil um, extra virgin olive oil maybe baking things that I need. I love cacao on my actual waffles, so that stuff is there. Extra glassware that I need, because I don't know if you see my refrigerator, but if you want that video, I can give it to you. Then I have my measuring cup here, along with another jar and some small missing bowls, and cans. I don't really use a lot of canned goods, so, the cans are here. To be honest, these stickers are hard to get off. All right, just being honest with you. I've been on one real picnic, so yeah. Jello shots, okay? All right. I need to go grocery shopping, okay? Because I need more paper towels. I need more gallons of water, which would go down below. I think I actually want a wicker basket just for my gallons of water, just to give it a little pizzazz down here. So there you have it, my minimal yet organized and slightly stocked <laughs> pantry video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up for more like it. Comment down below if you enjoyed it or if there's anything that you think I missed, let me know. Let's, let's talk, let's talk, why not? All right, bye. Not quite sure if this is a Sills Crib um, clip or for the weekly vlog, but I wanted to say that tonight is my last night in my new place <laughs> and when I say that I mean Thursday and Friday of this week will be my work days and that means that I have to be at home when the workers come in to do the final touch-ups um, redos repaint drywall um, of the house so I have to be here for all of that and that's happening Thursday and Friday of this week so I am currently yeah, this might be in Sils Crib because I'm currently putting painter's tape in all of the problem areas. After that, the house settles, and this is for new homeowners, you have to look above and beyond for those problem areas in the house. And you have to walk on every inch of the carpet because my floor is a little uh, wonky right now. And I have a lot of nail pops, a lot of little, little things, but I have to go around the house and pinpoint every single one of them just a heads up for those that are buying a brand new home never lived in and it has to settle so i'm taking a little break they're finishing up and i'm getting hungry 
the painters have left the building waiting on Todd to come check their work and everything um <laughs> it's official